Meta really feels like almost every single day there's multiple 100% runners, 500% runners, 600% runners, and there's like a 1,000% runner every single week. It's going crazy right now. All you guys want to know which one could be next, and I'm going to do my best in, in this video to kind of figure out what could be next, and we're going to go over a few stocks in this video that you absolutely are going to want to see. You already know that we had top financial move last week where it ran up 4,000% in a single day. Well, that madness did not stop stop there at all. Today, we did another 1,000% move from a small cap. This time, it was GD Culture Group, ticker GDC, 1,000% runner. Nothing is special about this stock. Don't think that. Don't think this stock is something crazy. It's a next Apple. They didn't drop news, and they don't have great fundamentals. But when a stock goes from getting not even 10,000 volume a day on average to getting 11 million volume in a single day, which we got today. When it's just a 1 million float, that means it, it's float traded 11 times today. It's bound to make a nice move as long as insiders aren't selling and as long as they're not diluting. And that's exactly what happened today. What are the similarities between GDC and Top? They are both Hong Kong stocks. Something yet again is going on in Hong Kong where they are deciding to push up multiple, multiple of these stocks, generating ridiculous hype for small cap Chinese and Hong Kong stocks. And I personally believe that that is their goal. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell anything in this video. I'm just giving you a few ideas what I think is going on. And when they generate this hype, they're going to bring retail investors to trade all of these Chinese and Hong Kong small caps yet again. They see what's going on with some of the U.S. stocks. You had CXAI. It ran up 5,000%. Now they want to get in on the action, but nobody's buying them. So in my opinion, something is going on with Hong Kong, and they're making these run. That run that's just my opinion. When one Hong Kong stock runs 1,000% like top, investors will rush to find the next and most small cap chinese stocks literally have a zero volume and it's almost impossible for these companies to raise monies money or for insiders to sell that's why in my opinion they create this hype so these stocks can finally start to move with the volume and they can go ahead and dilute insiders can sell they can do their thing as long as you don't get caught up when they end up doing that First, I have to make it clear, 99% of these Chinese stocks are not long-term holds. I mean, that's pretty clear, in my opinion, to most people, but a lot of investors are going to get burned off of this. They're going to see this stock run up 1,000%, they're going to buy in, and then it's going to tank. What you want to do is you got to catch the volume, you got to catch the hype, you got to get in and out quick. If, 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 you, if you get a good trade and you have green in front of you, you want to take that profit. If the trade doesn't work out, you might want to take a loss. That's just what the kind of market we're in right now. Just play that momentum. Holding on to any of, the, any of these for a very long time will certainly burn your trading account, but there is significant opportunity to trade these right now. You can see GD, it's a Hong Kong stock, just like Top Financial. Many of you are probably feeling like you missed out on an entire 1,000% move, but you don't always need to get the entire 1,000% move, and usually you're never going to get the whole move because these are so unexpected. You just have to play the volume. You have to see it coming when that volume starts to come in it's okay just to get a small piece of the move i alerted gdc at 2 17 p.m eastern time in the private discord and that was enough for a 140 percent move you might be like oh that's not a thousand percent but 140 percent is absolutely massive so take what you got in front of you most people don't even trade the main play of the day like gdc because when there's major runs like that multiple other chinese stocks or whatever fits the theme at the time which is chinese and Hong Kong stocks, they start to run as well. For example, BAOS started to gain tons of momentum and our analyst, Bilo Take Profit, shout out to him, he alerted BOA, BOA, BAOS in the Discord today at 2.52 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to get in on a lot of these plays, the Discord link is in the top pinned comment. Hop in over there. We have multiple volume scanners. You can even find these plays yourself 
using those scanners. They're calling out stocks all day that have a bunch of volume, a bunch of momentum, and you yourself can learn how to fish in the private Discord while, we'll give, while we're giving out tons of alerts that will go right to your phone, and you also get text messages every now and then. That BAOS alert was good for a 355% move into after hours. Huge. Another one that ran huge today was FNTG. I found this last week under $2, and I posted the due diligence in the swing room of the Discord. This is a Network One Financial Chinese IPO that does not dilute. Network One is the underwriter for stocks like GCT, MEGL, ILAG, GSUN, some former big runners. And boom, last week, look, the receipt is right there. 12.15 p.m., 4.28.2023, boom, another 300% runner from that post. I mean, I started posting it all day, and then today I had a 300% run. Keep a close eye on WAFU, but only if this China hype continues. Once the hype starts to die down, these big runners will slow down quickly, and many of them will crash and burn. But right now, it hasn't slowed down just yet, so there may be some more momentum, more momentum to play with these stocks. WAFU has not diluted at all since hitting the market. You can see right there, they have a low chance of diluting right now. They don't really need cash right now. It's at a one. 1 million float with an 11 million market cap and remember a lot of these stocks like gdc that was a 1 million float this is also 1 million float they look for similar stocks and this is a chinese stocks so wafu keep an eye on it the underwriter for this is network one financial you can see network one wafu just like hkd gct megl all those big chinese hong kong rippers in the past they also had news today which could put more eyes on it keep an eye on wafu before i show my next favorite stock i would like to announce right here right now that mumu is running a limited time offer starting today on may 1st you only have until you only have one month to get this where you, if you sign up using my link, you have to use my link and deposit after signing up with my link in the top pinned comment, you're going to get up to 20 free stocks. They can even be valued up to $2,000 per stock. There's no guarantee of that, but use my link, get your free money right now. Another stock that I really like, it's more of a swing trade in my opinion that I think may take a few days to play out, but I really like it, is ZVSA. It's not a Chinese stock. They don't all have to be Chinese. I just really love this setup right now. It's at 52 cents. The market cap is 10.6 million with a 12 million float. The offering that they just did that made the stock crash was done at a dollar. And it's only, it's 52 cents. It's half that right now. And I believe the drop, it actually went under 50 cents at one point. I think that was a bit of an overreaction and it could have a nice relief bounce in the near future and now that di the dilution is behind us it's looking good in my opinion there's not that dilution risk anymore the chart setup right here has the look of a big runner if it starts to gain momentum volume starts coming in there's a gap to the upside at a dollar 50. it's at all-time lows right now with little resistance to the upside if it gets through those important resistance levels like 60 70 cents and then it has a lot more room to run they have a catalyst on may 10th which is a micro cap conference something to for shareholders to look forward to and i and i'm i keep an eye on zvsa now let's move into gns i covered this at 84 cents yesterday it made a 49 percent move today and i still like this for potentially more on april 20th the company twitter page hinted at something coming mid-May. So there could be big news for GNS in the near future. You're going to want to keep an eye on it. Moomoo is running a limited time offer. I already announced that. Go get your free money. Go get your free 20 free stocks. You got to sign up using my link and join the private Discord. If you join Moomoo and join the private Discord, you're going to be set up to go crazy in this wild small cap market that we're dealing with right now. Hop in there. That's it for me. Peace.